ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to show how to determine if your customers' purchasing habits are becoming more or less focused, and we're going to show how to do that with the chi-square variance test in Excel. The chi-square variance test is used to determine if a population's variance has changed. It's most often used by quality control people to determine if a production process's variance levels are staying within certain tolerance limits. And it's often used by marketing managers to determine if their customers' purchasing habits have become more or less focused. The chi-square variance test has five steps, and they are as follows. The first step, you need to determine the required level of certainty and alpha. Well, that's derived from the problem statement. For example, if you say that you want a 95% level of certainty, then that required level of certainty is 95%, and the alpha is 0.05. The second step, you take a large sample of at least 30 from the population, and you measure that sample's standard deviation. The third step, you calculate what's called the chi-square statistic, and we'll show you how to do that. And the fourth step, you calculate the curve area outside that chi-square statistic. And we're dealing with the chi-square distribution curve, and we're calculating the percentage of the curve area that falls outside of that chi-square statistic on the x-axis. We'll show you exactly how to do that. And the fifth step, you use what's called the chi-square statistic rule to determine whether or not the variance has changed. It's actually a pretty simple test, and we'll walk you right through it. So let's take a look in Excel to generically show you how to do it, and then we'll do a real problem. So here's the five-step chi-square variance change test each of those steps. First step, once again, you need to determine the level of certainty in alpha, and that's derived from the problem statement. If you say that you want to be at least 95% certain, then your level of certainty is 95%, and the alpha, which is 1 minus level of certainty, is 1 minus 95%. Alpha equals 0.05. Second step, you want to take a large sample of at least 30 and then measure the standard deviation of that sample. Okay, and the third step, you want to calculate the chi-square statistic. And there are three parameters, n, the sample size, s, sample standard deviation, and sigma, the population standard deviation. They're plugged into that formula, and we'll show examples of that shortly, how to do that. And the fourth step, we want to calculate the area under the curve, under the chi-square curve, outside of the chi-square statistic. There are two different instances. If the sample standard deviation is greater than the population standard deviation, then we're trying to determine whether or not the population variance has increased, has moved to the right. Remember, variance equals standard deviation squared. And we're looking at a diagram of an example of that. Let's take a look at the diagram of the right. This is a chi-square curve with uh, 49 degrees of freedom. And you see the example on the right, the yellow area represents the 5% alpha area. Alpha equals 0.05. And the example on the left, the red area, is going to be the area outside of the chi-square statistic. We designate that as red in this video to make it easy to see. In this case, that's about 3% of the total area under the curve. And we've calculated that with this Excel formula. The chi dist and the two parameters are that chi-square statistic we just calculated, and the degrees of freedom, n minus 1, number of sample, sample size minus 1. And in that case, it was about 3% of the curve was outside. In the other case, if the sample standard deviation is less than the population standard deviation, we're testing to see if that population variance, square of the standard deviation, has moved to the left, has, has been reduced. So we're dealing with the outer left tail of the chi-square curve. So in this case, we can see on the right, that's the 5% curve, uh, 5% alpha area of the curve. And on the left, uh, we can see that the red area is actually larger. It's about, in this case, about 7% of the area under the curve. It's outside of that chi-square statistic. And in this case, the rule is, if the area outside the chi-square statistic, the red area, is less than the level of significance, alpha, that would be the yellow area, 
If the red area is smaller than the yellow area, then we would say that the variance has moved in the direction of the sample standard deviation. So in this case, here's an example. We see the yellow area is about 5%, and the red area fits inside that. The red area is the area outside that chi-square statistic. So that red area fits inside the yellow area. So we can say, yes, in this case, the population standard deviation, we can be 95% certain that it did move. Now here's the opposite case. We're testing to see if that population standard deviation uh, was reduced, moved to the left. In this case, we would say it was not, because that red area is larger than the yellow area. The yellow area fits inside the red area. The red area is about 7%. That's the area under the curve outside the chi-square statistic in this case. So we cannot say in this case that uh, within 95% certainty that the uh, variance of the population has moved to the left. Can't say that because the here, here's both examples. The top example, we can't say that the variance is within 95% certainty has moved to the right. Bottom example, we cannot say within 95% certainty that the variance has moved to the left. Both examples back to back. So here's a real live problem. Customers on a commercial website historically have had a standard deviation of 1.6 and the number of items that they purchase in each order. So population standard deviation is 1.6. And the company's internet marketing manager took a random survey of 50 recent orders and measured the sample standard deviation in the number of items per order to be 1.9. So sample standard deviation is 1.9. The internet marketing manager wants to find out with at least 95% certainty if the customers on their website have become less focused in their purchasing habits. So let's run through the five steps of the chi-square variance test to find that out. And once again, those steps are First of all, we need to determine the required level of certainty and alpha. What we stated, we, the marketing manager wanted to know within 95% certainty. So the required level of certainty is 95%. Alpha is 0.05. Second step, we took a large sample of 50 from the population and we measured the sample standard deviation. That turned out to be 1.9. And we're going to calculate the chi-square statistic. Fourth step, uh, we're going to calculate the curve area. Fifth step, we're going to apply that uh, chi-square statistic rule. So let's go ahead and do that in Excel right now. All right, once again, the five steps that we have to go through on this problem in Excel. First step, once again, determine the level of certainty in alpha. Well, as we stated, we wanted to be at least 95% certain, so that level of certainty is 95%. Alpha equals 1 minus the level of certainty, 1 minus 95%. So alpha equals 0.05. And the second step, we took a large sample of 50, and we calculated that uh, standard deviation to be 1.9 of that sample. Okay, the third step, we're going to calculate the chi-square statistic. The three parameters we need are n, sample size, that's 50, s, sample standard deviation, 1.9, and sigma, the population standard deviation, 1.6. We plug those into this formula, we get the chi-square statistic is 69. And the fourth step, we're going to calculate the curve area under the chi-square curve outside of the chi-square statistic, outside of 69. And since the sample, sample standard deviation was greater than population standard deviation, then we're going to be looking at the right side of the curve, and we're going to be using this formula to calculate the area outside that chi-square statistic. That's the Excel form of chi-dist, and the two parameters are the chi-squared statistic and degrees of freedom, n minus 1. So plugging in those numbers, we get the area outside there is about 3%. It's 0.0307. That red area is 0.0307. It's about 3% of the curve area. And applying the rule, we can see that little 3%, the little red area, does fit inside the yellow area. Remember, the alpha area level of significance was... 5% of the curve, and that red area is only 3%. So we can say with a 95% certainty that the variance has increased. On the other hand, if we were looking at it the other way, here's an example of something of, of an example that we cannot say that the variance has decreased because the red area does not fit inside the yellow area. The area outside that uh, chi-square statistic does not fit inside the yellow area. So if you'd like to be an Excel statistical master, go check out the excelmasterseries.com, and you can download the four-manual series. Uh, that's 400 pages of 
uh, NBA level statistics from in 1995.